Hey guys, it's Marty Geek. In this video, I'm share with you guys my review of the Ring Doorbell after three months of usage. And the reason that I'm doing that is because I just got the first alert for low battery. Yes, that's because I'm using the built-in battery of the Ring Doorbell instead of the uh, cables from my doorbell. I'm using a built-in battery and I installed this on May 21st. And it's weird that I actually got the alert on August 21st, three months exactly. I got the alert when it was at 20%, but one thing that's weird about this percentage thing on the app is that sometimes you open it up and it says 60%, then the next day you open it up and it says 65 or 70%. It's like, I don't know, the percentage is not really really accurate if i'm not mistaken when i first installed this or when i first uh, reviewed this i did say that ring promised you at least six months to 12 months of battery life and i can see there it only lasted three months and i really did regular use i didn't use this like i didn't go crazy um you know using this so um yes the first week like the first week just like every other toy uh, you start playing with the sensors, you start testing the camera, testing the microphone and all that. But that was only like one week after the after the week. I just started using it like normal. Sometimes I, I'll even forget was at the door unless I get, uh, you know, a notification or something like that. And it's pretty, pretty cool. I use it in standard. Like you see that you got three alerts. You got light, standard and frequent. I use it all the time in standard. If you're getting too many alerts, it's recommended to put it on light. I was about to put it on light because I've been I was getting a lot of alerts, and um, what I decided is to lower down the sensor halfway. Like I see there, twenty percent. Sometimes you I look at it and I think if I'm not mistaken, before I started the video, it was at fifteen percent. Uh, so there you go. Um, and of course. Uh, the only negative thing is that when it runs out of battery, you're going to have to use the same tool that came with the ring doorbell, which is like a heart shape or something like that, and take the, take it off the wall and charge it. You know, use like a, the micro USB cable that was in the box. I usually use any micro USB cable. It doesn't really matter. Uh, but that's the only negative thing about using the battery. And that, of course, you might have to charge it three months if you use it a lot maybe two months now i really hope that it lasts at least three months more and the battery doesn't really uh, decreases to two months that would really suck the only complaint that i would have to say about the ring doorbell is the motion sensor detection now the motion sensor detection um if somebody passes by your house uh, your doorbell right and if somebody's standing there you should get an alert of the person being there, right? Um, but the problem with this is, is that you don't get the alert right away. Uh, it, actually, I test this so many times and I looked everywhere and I seem to read everywhere that a lot of people are having the same problem that it usually takes from 15 seconds to 20 seconds for you to get the alert. That is kind of annoying because somebody can be standing there without without you know without tapping on the ring doorbell and just be there like putting something on the wall or something like that you won't see the alert until 15 or 20 seconds later later when the person basically are walking away but the cool thing is that the ring doorbell it works like it should work as well because of course it is a ring doorbell when somebody presses the button you get the alert right away so everybody in my home we all have you know smartphones so when somebody knocks on the door or ring the doorbell everybody gets the alerts if you're in the restroom if you're in the bedroom if you're in the uh, in the backyard everybody's phone starts ringing and that is pretty damn cool i really like that about this doorbell and the video quality is really good too you know it's the video quality is 720p of course uh is it actually gonna depend on your wi-fi um if your wi-fi is really bad or really weak your it's gonna be more pixelated and usually when it launches it starts pixelated but then it clears off and then it looks a little bit more clear. 
yeah, the only problem I would have to say about this ring doorbell is that I'm using a built-in battery. It lasted only three months. And when somebody walks, you know, in front of their doorbell, it usually takes 15 to 20 seconds for you to get the alert and for it to start recording because it doesn't record. It would be nice if it actually recorded right away and if you get the alert 10 seconds later or 15 seconds later it doesn't matter because you can see the person that would have been okay with me but you it really doesn't start recording after af after 15 or 20 seconds that's for me that's too much of a delay um you know for the sensor to work and it's not my product because i've i've read everywhere and a lot of people are having the same problem with the ring doorbell um the other negative thing not negative but you do have to pay for a cloud service uh, you have to pay three dollars a month or thirty dollars a year um honestly for, for me it's worth it because you know I could go back if if somebody if something happens at my home or some uh, and it and it's re actually recorded with the ring doorbell. I can go back and download the video to my cell phone. Now I've heard a lot of people say that if you're not paying for the cloud service and somebody rings on the doorbell, you cannot save the video. I c I haven't tested that because I've been having cloud service ever since since the day that i mounted this on my on my door next to my door so the good thing is that i can save the video to my smartphone and uh, but a lot of people are saying that you cannot actually save the video you would actually have to try to take a snapshot or screenshot of the of the screen while the thing or anything is happening now that is really bad if that's true that's that's not good that's not ideal so if you're not willing to pay three dollars a month for the cloud service i guess this is not for you you might as well get a security camera the cheap security camera which uh, you could put there and use your hard drive or use a memory card there's a lot of cheap cameras out there that cost 50 to 60 or 100 dollars um, this of course is 200 dollars um, i actually like it but you know, I I'm I know I understand a lot of complaints of people saying that you know it's three dollars, you know if you don't pay the three lives, basically useless. I understand that, and I think that's a negative thing that ring doorbell should address. I don't know there should be an update for that. Uh, you know, at least let us get free a couple videos. You know, at least get us free uh, like ten videos, and if something happens within those ten videos, right? You, you could download any of those videos. That would be nice uh, if Ring Doorbell did that. And it would be nice if we get an update for the motion sensor. Uh, let me get the alert before, you know, at least 10 seconds or less. That would be good. But other than that, guys, uh, this is my opinion about the Ring Doorbell. Uh, thanks for watching my video. I just want to update you guys my experience so far with the Ring Doorbell. And if you have any questions, just leave it in the comments and I'll try to answer them as soon as possible. Thanks for watching, guys. Till next time.